News alert tonight. These two inmates, now suspects after another prisoner, is found dead at Sterling Correctional Facility. Now, this is raising questions about the safety of the guards and the employees there. But tonight, the DOC is telling, only telling 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger they are reviewing policies and procedures. These are the Department of Corrections photos of Robert Sprouls and Thomas Johns. Both inmates at the Sterling Correctional Facility have been removed from general population and segregated following the death of this inmate, Cody Gray, who was serving a life sentence for sexual assault, drugs, and burglary. All three inmates were known as close custody offenders. This is the policy we found that dictates what close custody offenders are allowed, and it's more lax than it sounds. A minimum of six hours out of their cell each day for work, meals, education, the library, and showers. And then there's this. Unrestrained and unescorted movement will be allowed both inside and outside of the living unit. The Department of Corrections would not reveal how or where Gray was killed. Sources tell the Call 7 investigators the two suspects, Sprouls and Johns, are prison gang members. Sprouls is serving 48 years for attempted murder in Arapahoe County. Johns is already in prison for life, convicted of killing an employee at this Arvada Burger King in 2007. Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. The coroner in Logan County telling us that he has completed part of the autopsy this morning, but he is waiting for a forensic pathologist to examine the body to determine the exact cause of death.